In this video, we'll be discussing how to use the LabForge ICTN sensors for integrated classification and tracking network applications. So what exactly is an integrated classification and tracking network? ICTN simply refers to a network of sensors that produce a common operating picture in real time. This means that our ICTN sensors can be used to live plot moving objects from a fixed location. The data is processed and streamed in real time. Our sensors have a range of more than one kilometer depending on the client's lens selection. A great example use of the LabForge ICTN sensors is when we mapped the traffic on the Highway 85 exit ramp to King Street North in Waterloo, Canada. Upon first glance, you might be wondering how we managed to get our sensors to hover so steadily above the exit ramp. We didn't. The ICTN sensors were actually in a static configuration mounted on tripods 350 meters away from the exit ramp. Using mapping software allows us to see the data from an aerial viewpoint, which is useful because it makes the information clear and concise. As you can see, red dots represent cars, blue dots are trucks, and green dots are pedestrians. The green triangles on the left-hand side, that's the ICTN setup. ICTN setups like this can be used for perimeter protection, zonal defense, traffic data collection, and more. You might be noticing that the dots don't track along the entirety of the highway shown in this video. This is due to blind spots caused by buildings or trees. However, since ICTN uses distributed sensing, our clients can always deploy another sensor after the blind spot because it will all show up on the same map. To help you better understand how we set up for our highway mapping video, we created a scaled 3D animation of our setup. Remember those green triangles from earlier in the video clip? Now you can see exactly how we set up our three ICTN sensors. We placed them in a field across the street from the Highway 85 exit ramp and positioned them with a little bit of overlap in their field of view. To the right of our ICTN configuration, you can see a building interrupts the field of view. This is what caused the blind spot that we discussed earlier. To address this problem, we could have simply put a fourth ICTN sensor on the far side of the building. The LabForge ICTN system is very versatile. We showcased a highway mapping example, but the sensors can track whatever objects you train them to. Think coffee cups in a factory or donuts on a conveyor belt. In the future, ICTN sensors will also be available in a dynamic configuration for swarm mapping. ICTN will be available for mounting on mobile vehicles like ATVs, drones, unmanned ground vehicles, or convoy vehicles. For more information or to purchase the LabForge ICTN, click the link in the description box below. Hit that subscribe button and remember to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload.